this is one typical example that, that I, why I like to look at the patterns because you can see this, and this kind of system diagram, how you implement some of the system that actually that you are interested. This is a, the thing that actually, I was in, in like a strategy consulting for a long time, but basically before being into this kind of information, I, I just uh, generally depend on the general argument, right? Because uh, I cannot reveal the confidential information. <laughs> so what I can only talk about is general, right? You can, you can have, right? You can Google it, you can have. So what I think about is this is a open secret, right? It's a pattern, right? You reveal your, how you implement, and then in return, you have a exclusive right for 20 years. So this information is, I, whenever I want to look at some in much, much deeper level, then I, I targeting some specific application area and company and search what they're doing. And then I, I got the, oh, in the implementation level, how they do. Right? This is one example that is a GE's, I show is a, a GE Privix platform pipe, so industrial IT application. So this day, they specifically to have invention disclosure way to the deep learning and automatically learning action of information level, the desired operation of gas turbine in industry or private. So this is one example. I have actually bought, this is one of my consulting videos where I, I collect data and analyze and only to collect the essential part is I have a smart home, connected cars and smart healthcare and industrial IoT data set like this. But this is few that actually I show you. And then the full company is a weird, right? It's a thumbs up, right? Uh, but actually they are ne never talk about full computing, but the concept is full computing. So their idea is they want to sell their storage device. But it's a connected storage device. So this storage device has a function of the process. So it's kind of the very close to, to your IoT source. So probably maybe the smart home device, right? And put in this as a, like a probably personal cloud type application. <coughs> so they, they never talk about it because it's an engineer. <laughs> to, to do that, so maybe a uh, CTO may be more than they may be targeting some specific market, but my understanding is that they want to sell their storage device plus additional function, but based on this implementation, my understanding is the targeting for computing like uh, micro data center time based on this storage device network. So, so I can see through this application and this is one that you can see that how you actually the actual information looks like for the like uh, industrial application targeting for computing implementation. So this is one example. Of it. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to to post this presentation in website. So I will let you know. Okay. So long story through the technology and application, we finally someone. Half layer is a business strategy. And what I like to talk about is briefly about how you can design your big data IoT cloud deep learning integration strategy with respect to the commercialization. So you're thinking about developing your technology and how you can choose the effective commercialization strategy. And this is from MIT Sloan Management School. Actually, I attended this course. And then, and then this is for the, like, uh, have four layers. Here is that this page is that whether can have, you, you can have a governance, right? You can have a governance over your innovation, right? Whether you can control, right? Whether. So you can control, yes. You, can, you cannot control, no. This space is whether other parties are required. So we have dependency of your success depend on, especially it can be positive and negative. Negative means interruption from your competitor, especially incumbent, right, instead of company, right? No and yes. So here is a, you don't have any governance, but also you can exclude from other interruption is uh, to developing disruptive technology, right? disruptive strategy. So you, you know that this is well, right? Harvard Business School 
the well-known business model. And recently developed, the, like, uh, for example, Elon Musk, that the, this electric car is a uh, disruptive innovation or not, <laughs> in, a, in a management yeah, level. But here's one example, Netflix is uh, one successful model for this. And then here is another side is uh, you can control have all governance, but also depend on your ecosystem in a positive way. Is to you have a strong intellectual property strategies, but this is very difficult now. You may not in the I'm in in patent law space, so the in the from the the recently there was a, the, the law changes in they call American Invention Act. And then that was one of the big changes to the patent system in the United States. And then they have difficult to have a strong IP protection. But anyway, so, so, so behind this, what is the that uh, the weakening of the, your patent owner's right. The, 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 in the patent community, they say the pendulum, there is a pendulum. Because there's always pendulum depend on your, your society, right? And then the basic purpose is to, in, to increase innovation anyway, right? But with respect to innovation plus some other yeah, effect, right? The, the reason recently was the patent tools. Okay. So that they moved to the pendulum to the weakening. And then and the older guys in, in this space are looking for the weather when they uh, should <laughs> move to the other side of the pendulum. Right? And then here is a tool actually I'm thinking about. This is a good, I'm not a district. <laughs> it's a very, very difficult to develop this lot of strategy, even though you know the, how, you, how you do, right? And then intellectual property animation and the legally is difficult time. So I'm, I'm concentrated on this. One is uh, architecture strategy, is a platform strategy. So one requirement is you develop your own ecosystem, right? So your followers, your participants, your partners, you decide, right? But with huge effort cost, right? Yeah. right? And then the other side is a value chain strategy. But in, in this course, actually, what, what they mean is value chain is that the, the, you're, you are not, uh, you cannot put in your product as a standalone. You need <coughs> all the value chain players to be integrated to have your value that you have a market. So. So means that the interruption of the, for example, in negative ways, interruption, and positive ways is a collaboration, right? But I have, I actually asked in the course that uh, I have another space is in hybrid between two is Pokemon case. Okay. The Pokemon case is, uh, is uh, so the, this theory is already developed in Harvard in, in Business School. That is that you have developed some technology, but unsuccessfully that launch in the market, commercialized, not because of the, your own reason, but because of the environment. Infrastructure, platform, not yet. For example, smartphone, right? There for a long time, right? Pokemon Go, game, Wrong there, right? But integrate with the smartphone platform, plus location finding infrastructure, they revive based on this one, right? This this type of innovation. That's I, I, I like. This one actually I'm developing business actually developing in another business. I have a, the I, I talk with someone that I I'm I'm involving some in private equity that So your point is that you are riding on some existing infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So you don't have was not exist at the time of your invention of a, the innovation. So actually, I'm looking for the old technology. Okay, and how it and then how it can be integrated the present platform and infrastructure, package it, making synergy, and then provide the innovation platform. But that's one. Of, that's my another business. That's actually. smart. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm practicing now. So we are at the stage of the the finalizing funding. But I designed this business model, and then I search all the old technology. You know that, for example, IoT, 20 years more than, right? But many was not successful. So their current value, nearly zero, unless 
you do cleverly integrate them to implement actual technology based on the platform infrastructure, you get a high value. That's, that's our ROI, right? Because uh, I search the old technology have the potential to integrate with the current infrastructure platform to synergistically package it to be used as innovation. 